Hi everyone, welcome back. This reading is for Aquarius. So if you have any placements of Aquarius in your chart, this reading is for you. This is for the month of September. Sorry, I've been very slow with the recordings. I'm going to try to finish them this week. Have a lot going on as always, but love and light to you all. Welcome to the reading for Aquarius for the month of September. Aquarius, your overall energy is the fool. The fool takes the leap of faith. The fool, fool does things differently, decides to change up a bit, make things differently, or maybe move in a better route than what the fool was previously moving into or moving in the way he was going. Okay, so this is you just taking a leap of faith, even though there are restrictions and you're feeling kind of confined at this moment. Okay. Then we have the double card. This is you being overwhelmed or connected to something or someone or feeling um, an obligation to something or someone or feeling like you have an obligation to something or someone that's really um, has been an ongoing process for you, an ongoing situation, okay? Um, so really feeling either you certain addictions, certain bound to certain people, bound to certain things and really not feeling like you can get control of this because you know it's always the issue you know it comes back and forth in your life so i feel like you're venturing into a new area or you're gonna venture out and do things differently and not be stuck in the same situation that you're always stuck in okay we have the ten of rods because there's a lot going on in your life where you feel like there's a lot going on you have a lot of things to do on your plate and the ten of rods is telling you to take it to take you know some time of relaxation don't do everything on your own. Don't feel obligated to do everything yourself. And try not to take on too many things at the same time. We got the Page of Swords. Page of Swords could be a communication coming in. Communication fast. Fast communication coming in, whether from various sources or just from one source. I feel like there's a lot of communication around you, things coming in, and you're deciding what you're going to do, you know, to move forward, Okay. We have the King of Cups. The King of Cups could be a water sign, Capricorn, no, no, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So these are your water signs. So you could be dealing with someone with water sign in their zodiac chart, or you could be dealing with someone who has some type of love or affection towards you or showing love and affection toward you. This person could be very emotional at the same time, yet be very balanced, get offer you their cup of love and seeing where this goes, okay? You have the King of Pentacles. We could be talking about two different individuals. The King of Pentacles could be Capricorn, Taurus. Um, there's one more, Virgo. These are the zodiac signs it's associated. may not necessarily mean that you're associating with someone like this. It could be someone who has these qualities. It could be even yourself. These qualities is someone who, you know, knows what they're going to do, where they're going to go. This is someone who is working very hard. This is someone who likes to work on their pentacles. This is someone who is um does things step by step can be very reliable can be a person who is very structured means structure from you or the situation um or this could be just just someone you're in you're dealing with that may have these two qualities maybe someone offering you a cup of love or offering you something and they have these either one of these signs in them and they're 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 portraying either one of these qualities okay or it could be you just working on your emotional aspect as well as your financial aspect, okay? We got the Queen of Swords here. The Queen of Swords comes in. Is this the Queen of Swords? Yes, we got the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords usually comes in when a truth needs to be known, when things need to be rectified. You see she has a balanced scale there. So things need to be balanced out in this situation, balanced out in your life. If there's something you're giving too much of, you need to pull back and just balance things out. If you feel like... There's a lack of reciprocity or, or lack of, you know, good exchange. And you need to pull back and see where is it that your focus is on mainly and how could you improve your own situation, okay? We got the three of cups coming in. There will be lots of celebrations, lots of people you're going to be celebrating or meeting or maybe even friends and families. You're communicating with them. And it could be a celebration in regards to this individual that you're with or maybe celebrating um, the love that you have for each other, but I don't see nothing with love. I do see a lot of communication. So celebrating the communication that's going on or building on that communication, okay? Last but not, le last but not least, we got the Ace of the Swords. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is just a truth needing to be said, a win needing to be done, some form of balancing. So I feel that even though you feel like you have a heavy load, you're going to be like the fool. You're going to find different ways to deal with it and maybe venturing in different, you know, how would I deal with it? Let me deal with this this way, that way. So this is you venturing it in 
and doing things differently to help yourself emotionally and financially. I feel that you could be um, talking to someone or someone is offering love and you yourself are offering love too. It could be this too. And it's just like a lot of communication and feeling that there's a lot of burdens with this, but I feel like it's going to work itself out because you have the Ace of Swords coming in, okay? So you venturing out and doing things def differently will help you to find the happiness that you're looking for, okay? Um, even if it's with a particular situation, doing things differently may change it up and make things better for the both parties that are committed, okay? Communication is important as well as family and love and showing emotional aspects to that communication can help you go a lot further than being stern or demanding, okay? So it works in both ways in the situation you're in or with the other person. I feel there's going to be celebration and something is going to happen here that's going to work out to the better for whatever thing you're working on, whether it be in your finances or your emotional life or, you know, those things have come into play here. We see where you're working on your finances. Try not to weigh yourself down. Make sure to find some time for yourself. Be like a fool. And if there's something that you keep on struggling, well, maybe do something different. Do it different so that you and the other person can feel more connected too, okay? We have um, two oracle cards. The first card is Eternal Love by Archangel Michael. And it says here, my prayer, help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe, receiving, expressing, and giving love. So really asking Archangel Michael to open up your heart and help you to express things. Because maybe this is where you're feeling a little stagnant and stuck. Sometimes an addiction could be just the way we act and do things. That's an addiction. If we continue with the same cycle and we don't get what we want, then maybe you need to do things differently. And that's how a fool comes in. It's doing things differently. Okay? Uh, last but not least, we get the A sofer. That's number 22. Number 22 here. So let's see what the message is in that so we can find out what is your message for the month of September. Number 22. Where am I now? Let me see where I'm at because I do see pages. Oh, I'm in 23. So let's go. Number 22. Let's see what it says. I almost passed it again. I keep on passing it. I don't know why. It says, a way through the struggle has already been created. And you are being led into the path. Your authentic soul path may include recognition, acclaim, notable success, and admiration. Be grateful, but do not be, be dazzled or distracted by such experiences. Focus on what connects you to your heart and grounds you in the simplicity of spiritual truth, which is the practice of love, kindness, and peace. This will allow for successful progress in the material world without disturbing the sanctity of your soul. So always do everything with peace, with love and compassion and taking everyone into consideration. There's something you're going to be venturing or doing something differently in, whether it be in your emotional life or finances. And I think it's a little bit of both. Try not to overwhelm yourself with a lot of obligations. There is going to be some important information coming in, some win, and there's going to be some celebrations. So this is your overall energy Aquarius for the month of September. I hope it resonated with you. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.